What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video on something related to nursing. No rhyme or reason. Probably not going to change. I want you to stop what you're doing. I want you to pick up the phone, head to the internet, find whatever messaging system you use, however you maintain contact with all of your professional colleagues, and I want you to reach out to whatever preceptor you know and thank them. I want you to take five minutes out of your day and go thank them. It is a absolutely thankless job, and it is probably one of the most difficult jobs that every nurse who gets the opportunity to actually be a preceptor, it is one of the most difficult jobs that you will do as a nurse. Some of you, some of us, are blessed with actually getting training and education on how to actually be a preceptor. While others, you become a preceptor because of time and grade. You've been a nurse long enough, great! You're going to go ahead and teach somebody else how to do that. The see one, do one, teach one mentality, you know, we as nur the nursing profession has taken that to the nth degree. What they don't explain to you is that becoming a preceptor actually requires a great deal of control and discipline. I've talked about it a million times. There's a difference between a preceptor and a good preceptor. Good preceptors allow their orientees to fail or to fall or to stumble while educating and training them versus the preceptor that is overbearing, condescending, and has no patience whatsoever. I have shamefully been both of those people. And it's taken me a very long time to admit that and to get better at it. Which is why I want you to take five minutes out of your day and thank a preceptor that you know. Even if you are a preceptor yourself and you recognize how difficult that job is, take five minutes out of your day and go thank someone who taught you. Just imagine how you would feel as a preceptor if somebody came up to you and thanked you for the job that you've done. Preceptors actually getting something out of being a preceptor is actually rare. It's not common. Most nurses become preceptors out of the goodness of their heart because they like to teach and they want to improve our profession, both in their immediate circle as well as the broad sense. They want to elevate the game by making sure that the up-and-coming nurses are prepared. Some preceptor programs allow for bonus pay. You get an extra amount of money per hour or per shift for being a preceptor. Some get other perks like extra time off or they get CEU money or they get free CEUs because they're actually teaching. Some of us have done it because we're looking for that feather in our cap. We're also looking to gain experience on teaching others because at some point in our career, we want to be an educator. We like to teach, both formally and informally. At the end of the day, precepting is a very thankless and tiring job for one reason. you got to change the way you nurse. You have to be somebody that you are not used to being. You have to start doing your job by the numbers again. You've spent a great deal of time sometimes months, sometimes years, to perfecting your craft and making it a smooth working machine that is both efficient and proficient. You get the job done in the shortest amount of time. You get it done the first time every time. You are the go-to person when they talk about nurses on the floor. and You gotta figure out how to dial back from a 10 to a 0 without being an asshole. It takes skill and practice, something I'm still learning. So this is my plea to all of my nurses out there in the tribe. 
to just take five minutes and thank your preceptor, whether active or in the past, because this job ain't easy. I would love for you to actually list your preceptor's name in the comments below so that they can get public recognition for it. Leave their name in the comments, maybe say a couple words, tell them what they did right, heck, tell them what they did wrong, but recognize them for their efforts. Leave their name in the comments down below. You know your comments are McCarthy. Share this with somebody. I really want you to share this with everybody you know, everybody across the board in your profession. Since you've been a nurse, since you have arrived in this profession, share it and pass it along. And as always, check your own pulse first.